Assalamu alaikum everyone. Don't you just love rainbows? I mean, who doesn't? In today's video, let's celebrate Roy G. Biff, the colors of the rainbow, by making a cake. This rainbow cake just makes me so happy. Not only does it look great, it tastes fantastic. You won't have a crumb left over. So, let's get started. So here I have Betty Crocker Super Moist Cake Vanilla Flavor. Only three ingredients and you have your cake ready. So I did make some changes. I still use two medium eggs. Instead of vegetable oil, I substituted this with butter. Instead of water, I substituted this with milk. So preheat the oven to 180 degrees and get the cake pans ready for receiving the batter. In a large bowl, I am adding the cake mix. Now I'm going to add two medium eggs. Here's the first one. And then the second one. Now I'm going to add butter, melted butter, yes. Now I'm going to add cow juice, I mean milk. In a large bowl, I've added all the ingredients together and now we're going to beat this with an electric mixer on low speed for 30 seconds. Then on medium speed for a minute. Please make sure you're scraping the bowl sides occasionally because you want the batter to mix evenly. Okay, now that's done. Again, beat on medium speed for another minute. I'm just using food colors, we're going to be tinting the batter with all the different food colors. Eight colors in total, starting with the color red. Powdered red food coloring. Powdered orange food coloring. Powdered yellow food coloring. Powdered green food coloring. Powdered blue food coloring. Gel based pink food coloring. Gel based burgundy food coloring. Gel based purple food coloring. At this moment, I realized I should have bought more cake mix batter. Can't do anything about it, can't go to the store and get some more, so we just have to make do with whatever we have. So I divided the batter evenly among eight small bowls. Smear a little icing on your cake stand or plate, just a splotch, just take the first sponge. Place your first layer onto your cake board. I'm working on a turntable to make this whole process easier. Apply a thin layer of buttercream. Keep your spatula nice and flat so your buttercream has an even thickness. Now I said at the back you have to bake the cake for 40 to 45 minutes or until toothpick inserted in center comes out clean. Uh, my cake batter is all cooked, ready, and ready to assemble. So I did cool it for 10 minutes and then I removed it from the pan. Make sure it's cooled completely on a wire rack. So for the vanilla buttercream frosting, I added 1 cup of soft unsalted butter, 3 cups of sifted icing sugar, 2 to 3 tablespoons whole milk, half or a teaspoon of vanilla extract according to your taste. Combine all this in a bowl and beat until frosting is smooth. Beat on high speed until light and fluffy. Now repeat this step, sandwiching on top the burgundy sponge, then the pink, 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 P-I-N-K, 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 pink, blue, 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 
blue, blue, blue, blue, b l u e, b l u e, b l u e, b l u e, blue, green, 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 g r e e n, 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 green, yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow, 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 Y E L L O W, Y E L L O W, yellow, orange, 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 O R A N G E, O R A N G E, and finally red, 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 R E D, red. Spread light coat of frosting on top and side of cake to seal in the crumbs. Then frost it with remaining frosting. So this layer of frosting will be thin and cake will be visible through the frosting. Once frosted, refrigerate the cake for 30 minutes. This is called a crumb coat and will prevent crumbs from interfering when frosting for a second time. I unfortunately ran out of frosting, so this is my final frosting. So using the straight stainless steel offset icing spatula with ergonomic handle, it makes it so much easier to spread the frosting smoothly and evenly. Look what I have. It's rainbow sprinkle time. Oh no, it looks like a unicorn exploded on this cake. Poor unicorn. Okay, when it comes to rainbow sprinkles, you need two things. What are they? Well, first of all, you need a lot of them. And second of all, you need them to be bright and vibrant in color. I don't know why, but the colors are not really showing as vibrant and bright as they are in real life on camera for these rainbow sprinkles. Let us cut into the rainbow cake. Will it be a feast for the eyes and taste buds? Drum roll, please. Ta da! Look at all the beautiful eight layers. Just when you think there can't possibly be another baking phenomenon, unicorns take over the world and the rainbow cake is born. Keen to try this multicolored crumb coated wizardry at home? Do give this a try. Bismillah rahman rahim. Mmm, so premium tasting. I wish there was more buttercream frostings in between the layers. This vibrant eight-tiered rainbow creation is a guaranteed showstopper. The delicious layers of moist, colorful sponge are sandwiched with a light and fluffy vanilla buttercream frosting, making a super impressive celebration cake. They may not be a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow, but there sure are a bunch of happy and full people at the end of a rainbow cake. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Tasakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.